Amen. 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 We Amen. Think it's so good this morning just to gather Amen. together to be in the assembly of the saints where we can lift up the name of Jesus and give him praise. Hallelujah. We thank God for one more day. We don't take it lightly. We know that this is a very auspicious day for us to be here. We know that a lot of people would like to join in on our call or join in on some platform and are not able to. So we thank God that we have this great opportunity this morning. So let's fellowship and give God praise. Amen. Glory be to God. Let us pray this morning. Father God, we give you thanks and praise for this new day. This day that you have made, oh God, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for waking up, up one more time, oh God, and here we are in your presence this morning, lifting you high and glorifying your name because you deserve all the glory, you deserve all the honor, and you deserve all the praise. So Father God, as we come together this morning, we ask that your Holy Spirit come and be with us and teach us your word, oh God. We ask that you come this morning and impart in us what we need to know, oh God. Give us new wisdom and new revelation this morning in the knowledge of you. We come this morning seeking more of you, seeking to know you better this morning, Father God. So we pray that you open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and give us new perspective, oh God, on who you are. We pray that you bless, oh God, our gathering together this morning, that you touch each and every person who is listening, oh God, that you have a word for everyone. I pray, oh God, that you continue to be with us, continue to strengthen us and lead us in the way that we should go. All this we ask this morning in Jesus' blessed name. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. We're going to begin this morning with our hymn. We are marching to Zion. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. We are marching upwards to Zion, that beautiful city of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continue this morning with our scripture reading coming from Deacon Keith Cyrus. And following him, we will have our morning prayer by Sister Diane Wheelis, shepherd in that order. Thank you. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. I shall be reading Hebrews chapter 12, verses 19 through 29. Praise God. And the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words, so that those who heard it begged that the word should not be spoken to them anymore, for they could not endure what was commanded. And if so much as a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned or shot with an arrow. And so, and so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I am exceedingly afraid and trembling, but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly in the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator, of the new covenant and to the first blood of sprinkling that speaks of better things than that of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who speaks, for if they did not escape who refused him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised saying, yet once more I shall, yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this yet once more indicates, now this yet once more indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace, which by which, by, uh, by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. May the Lord, may the, the word of our Lord be blessed. Amen. Amen. You're on mute, Sister Diane. You're on mute, Sister Diane. I'm sorry. Side. Peace and love. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Thank you, Brother Keith, just for reading the word. It is always a lamp unto our feet. And as we move forward in our program this morning, let me say a word of prayer. So pray with me, open your hearts, open your minds and pray with me this morning. Heavenly Father, it is once again, oh God, mm. once again, oh God, we come to the throne, oh God, we come, O oh God, to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Lord God, we know that you are God all by yourself. We know mm -hmm. that you sit high. We know that you sit low and you see yeah. all. You know all because you are our all in all, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we come this morning to magnify you, to glorify you, to lift up your name, to give you the highest praise, to give you prayer, oh God. We come to thank you, oh God. We come to worship you. We come to worship you, oh God, in spirit and in truth. Lord God, thank you for allowing us another opportunity to praise and pray and to worship you, oh God. Yes. Lord God, we bring it all to you, oh God. Our mind, our body, and our soul, oh God. 
We thank you this morning, oh God, for you watched over us last night as we slept and slumbered, oh God, not knowing where we were in our mind and in our state of consciousness or unconsciousness, oh God, but you saw it then, oh God, to touch us this morning with your finger of love, oh God. You saw an opportunity to bless us once again, oh God, to be here in the land of the living, oh God. And we thank you, oh Father God. Lord God, we need you every hour, every hour we need you, oh God. We need you every day, every minute, every second of the hour, oh God. But Lord, we can't do nothing without you. Father God, we thank you for all of your provisions that you bestow upon us, oh God. You woke us up to the beauty of a brand new day, oh God. You brought us throughout the week, oh God, and you safely brought us, oh God. You kept us from hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen, oh God. And for that, we say thank you, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for our families, oh God. We thank you for our children, oh God. And Lord God, we ask a special blessing on children, oh God, today. Lord God, sometimes we just don't know. I hear so many people say, oh God, what's wrong? What's yeah. wrong? Yeah. But Lord God, you know. And yeah. God, right now, I'm asking you to go into every home where there is a child represented, yeah. oh God. I ask, oh God, that you touch that home, touch that mother, touch that father. Oh God, touch that child and bring him into unison, oh God. Let the children know, oh God, that they need you, oh God. I know, Lord God, that there's social issues, so, social issues all over the place, Lord God. Lord God, they deal with social media each and every day, but let it be the right way, oh God, let it be the right way, oh God. Bless our children, oh God, as they go to and from and all of the places where they go, keep them safe, oh God. Lord God, I ask that you touch those today that are on the sick and bereaved list, oh God, those that are going through, oh Father God, you know the mind, you know the body, you know the spirit, oh God. Lord God, I ask that you deliver Deliver them as only you can do, oh, Father God. Lord God, I thank you for allowing us once again to come to the Remnant Family Worship Center, oh God, where we are going to lift up your name. We're going to praise you. We're going to worship you, oh God, in the way that we do, oh God. Lord God, I ask that you come upon this service, oh God, that you take place in your presence. Be right here where we are, oh God. Each one of us are in our own respective places, oh God. But Lord God, I know that you are in our hearts, oh God. So thank you, Lord God, for bringing us together. Two or three gathered in the name, oh God, even if we are on a telephone, even if we are on a Zoom call, oh God, we are touching and we are agree. Yes. So Lord God, thank you. Thank you for all that you have done today, all that you have done yesterday, all that you have done throughout our lives and what you will continue to do, Lord God. Lord God, let this service be what you would have it to be. Bless, bless, oh God, our special pastor, oh God, Reverend Chandler, oh God, whatever it is that you poured into his heart this morning, oh God, let us be able to receive it, oh God. Let us open our hearts and our minds. Let us hear what thus says the Lord. And not only let us hear it, but let it sink deep down in our hearts and let us be able to spread the word, spread the joy to others so that they will come to know who you are, oh God. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for all that is going to be be said and done because we know that it's all going to be about your glory, not our story, oh God, but your glory, oh God. Yes. Yes. Up, oh God. We're here to magnify you. We're here to just pour out our love, oh God, for your daily grace and your mercy that you really give to us each and every day that you give us another life opportunity, oh God. And we thank you. Let us continue to be a vessel to those, oh God, who may not know you in the pardon of their sins, oh God. Lord God, let us continue to be a blessing because you have been a blessing to us, oh God, in so 
so many ways, oh God. You have allowed us to have our wants. You have allowed us to have our needs. You have allowed us to have, in many cases, more than enough, oh God. And for that, we say thank you. But whatever that more is, oh God, let us be able to share it with someone else, oh God. Let us just give, give from the heart, whatever it is that we have, whether it's a smile, whether it is a, a, a word, whether it is a hug, Lord God, whatever it is that's going to make someone else see the light, see you, oh God, through us, Lord God, give us that opportunity today yes. to be a blessing to someone else, oh God. Lord God, I thank you today. Thank you. We thank you today for all that you do. Yes. and what you will continue to do. Lord God, I pray this prayer in the matchless, miraculous, and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Amen. thank God for the word of prayer. Amen. 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 Certainly, Sister Diane, heaven has heard you yes. on our behalf this morning. Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. Thank Amen. you for that Amen. awesome, Amen. awesome Amen. prayer this morning. Amen. Amen. And now we are going to ask um, Sister Esther if she would greet us this morning. Yeah. Greet those who are tuning in, listening, asking God for a word. Ask us to greet them this morning. Let them know that we love them from the depths of our heart. Thank you, Sister Esther. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God this morning. What a joy. What a joy. I've enjoyed the service thus far. This Amen. a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to be with you this morning. Amen. And I'm so glad that God has allowed me this, this chance again to be with you. And I, I pray and I thank God for whoever is attached to this service this morning. Whatever line you're on, however you're connected, we thank you. We praise God for you. We ask and pray that you would enjoy the service and, and tell somebody this week what you've heard and, and, and rejoice with family and friends this week and just make it a blessed week. And thank you again for being connected with us this morning. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Sister Esther. Certainly, we do feel welcome. We are welcome. And we, uh, I know that those who are tuning in, at least for the first time, you must have felt welcome. If not, we know continuing on, the Holy Spirit of God will let you feel that fuzzy was in your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. So you will feel welcome this morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're going to hear from our music minister this morning. Amen. Brenda. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise oh, Lord. Lord. oh, thank you for Praise the Praise Sunday. Amen. Thank you, Sunday, of February. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just want to let y'all know I'm a child of the King. Oh, All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Just give me a minute. My father is rich in houses and land. He holds the wealth of the world in his hands, of rubies and diamonds, of silver and gold. He offers awful, he has riches untold. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king with Jesus my savior I'm a child of the king 
my father's own son, the savior of men, once wanted on earth as the poorest of them. But now he is pleading our burdens on high that we may be with him. He comes by and by. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king. With Jesus, my savior, I'm a child of the king. I once was an outcast stranger on earth, a sinner by choice and a alien by birth. But I've been adopted, my name written down, and heir to the mansion of robe and a crown. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king. With Jesus, my savior, I'm a child of the king. A tent or a cottage, why should I care? They're building a mansion for me over there. Through exile from home, yet still I may sing all oh, glory to God. I'm a child of the King. I'm a child of the King, a child of the King. With Jesus, my Savior, I'm a child of the King. Thank you. Amen. 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 Yes, man. Child of the King. Great king. And we have to know that more and more each and every day. You see the days drawing nearer. We have to know with certainty that we are children of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. We're going to continue in our worship and we worship through giving. This is one of the ways that we worship our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is to give back according as he has given to us with tithes and offerings. So these are some of the ways that we can be a blessing to the remnant family. And it's true, we have Cash App and we have Giglify. Cash App, the tag is dollar sign remnant family WC. And with Ghibli, Givelify, it's HTTPS slash give dot L I V A slash H C V H C W F O B. <laughs> And just take a screenshot of this so that you don't miss any of the titles. I may not have pronounced it correctly or not have said them all. So please just take a, a snapshot of it on your phone or whatever device that you're using to tune in and so that you can have the proper titles mm -hmm. and give correctly to the right. Um, yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. God, he says, Bring back all the, the into the storehouse and prove me now. He said he will open up the windows of heaven and pour yeah. us on a blessing. So let us give from our hearts this morning. Amen. 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 A few announcements for our week coming up. The Remnant Family Worship Center, we have our online services every Sunday. So if you're tuning in for the first time this week, Go back and invite your family and your friends. We tune in every Sunday at 9 a.m. Amen. We also have our morning manner every Monday through Friday at 7.30. We ask that you join us in our worship experience. Our calling number is 339-209-417. So that's every Monday morning through Friday, 7.30 a.m. 
The call-in number is 339-209-4712. Also on Tuesday night, we have Bible study. So join us in this same virtual platform that you're on this morning, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m., where we come to learn what the Lord has said to us. Bible, you, you come, you don't know, we expound, we come, we don't know, we share. That is what we do on Tuesday night. So join us on Tuesday night so we can come and learn together, thus saith the Lord. Amen. And also on Wednesday at noonday, where we turn on our plates so we come with consecration, we invite you to join us again at noonday every Wednesday, where we come and we have our midweek recharge. So a short, a brief prayer that we come in and we just lift up the name of Jesus and we get more strength and power to go on about the rest of the week and the rest of the day. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah, so you can always contact the Remnant family at 646-287-8972. And that's our announcement for this week. And from the pastor's desk this morning. The faithfulness of God is a testament to the fact that he will complete the work he has begun in you. For he is faithful in grace, mercy, and love. Don't be discouraged. Your difficulties are proof of the great work God is doing in your life. Amen. 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 That is the Amen. word from Reverend Chandler. Mm -hmm. And this month in February, we have um, a sermon series, The King is Coming. Okay, yes, The King is Coming, and we will be celebrating our one-year official church anniversary this February 26, 2023 at 9 a.m. And we have our guest speaker, which I don't think is our guest speaker, but is our own minister, Gail C. Fleming. She Amen. will be bringing us to the throne of grace on Amen. that morning, which is well fitting because she's one of our founding members for the Remnant Family Worship Center. We thank God that we are able to celebrate in this fashion. Can't wait for that day to come. Amen. Amen. We will now hear from our Pastor Reverend Calvin A. Chandler with mm. the word, and the next voice you will hear will that be a word from on high from our own Reverend Chandler. Amen. 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 Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied to each and every one of you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is another day's journey, and we are so glad about it. Mm. that God has saw fit to allow our golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. Amen. We are just so excited and delighted to be invited into your time on today. Sister Brenda said, I'm a child of the king. Mm -hmm. That's me. Just because we know the king is coming and because we are children of him, that means we can go back with him and we are prepared for his return. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Keith, Sister Diane, Sister Esther, and Sister uh, Yvonne for navigating us thus far in this worship experience. Amen. It's good to see Sister Ada. Amen. Amen. Such a life. She's worshiping with us on this morning. Uh, good to see Sister Leslie. We had a good time celebrating the life and legacy of her mom on yesterday. Amen. And uh, you, you get many requests to make the, the celebration of life a celebration of light. Oh, but we had fun. Mm -hmm. I had so much at a home going in all my life. <laughs> hey, man. Man. Yes, it indeed. was just so nice. Mm -hmm. So nice. Yes. Yeah, praying yes. for her. Listen, on Tuesday uh, is Valentine's Day. Hey, Amen. So mm -hmm. our married couples or people with significant other, uh, uh, there'll be no Bible talk, no Bible study on Tuesday night. 
Amen. We know that Jesus is love. So mm -hmm. as we're celebrating love, let us do it according to the word of God. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says that when the woman was caught in the act of adultery, Jesus told her, I don't condemn you, but go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bless God. I'll leave that right there. But mm -hmm. enjoy your Valentine's Day on Tuesday. Amen. Hopefully my sister let me relax and don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> uh, bless God. Enjoy yourself and your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Man. Amen. Amen. We are for fourth Sunday is fastly approaching where we celebrate one year as the Remnant Family Worship Center Incorporated. Amen. As Sister Yvonne has said, she is not a guest. Amen. She's one of us. Mm -hmm. uh, Minister Gail C. Fleming that will come and give us the word on the fourth Sunday. Amen. We are looking to have a good time as we also continue to celebrate Black History Month. Uh, this week for the public school system has been Black Lives Matter uh, observance. Amen. So we are doing what we have to do to remember uh, uh, the shoulders we are standing on. Amen. The people that allow us to have worship, mm -hmm. worship freely. Mm -hmm. So we are so grateful for that. Amen. There is a word from the Lord on this morning uh, coming from the gospel according to Mark chapter number seven. Amen. I, I have to tell somebody. I have to tell somebody. Amen. And thank God. You'd go through the things you've been through. You never knew that you would fall. But I heard his voice say, I heard his voice say, Here's a pain, it is not your portion. Failure, it is not your portion. Sickness, it is not your portion. You never knew you'd be 
and the promises good news wake up to good news all throughout the day good news even when i lay my head down at night i declare good news and i'm so glad the promise doesn't wear out every day i believe god Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, you are my strength, and you are my redeemer. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine goddess. Once again, we simply ask you to do it again. Hide me behind that old rugged cross. Anoint these lips, this tongue of clay, that I may not say anything that will hinder anybody or myself on judgment day. But God, it is our prayer supplication that you use me for your service. God, I've studied by need your strength. I've prepared by need your power. So God, do it again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I have to tell somebody. Amen. We're living in a day and age where there's no such thing as privacy. Everything is plastered on Facebook. Everything is on Instagram. Everything is all over social media. But yet we are refusing to share the goodness of Jesus. The gospel according to Mark chapter number 7, verse number 31 to 37. 30, um, Amen. The reason this was then Jesus lift, left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Saddam down through Galilee into the region of the, the capitalists. There some people brought him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk. And they begged him to place his hands on the man after he took him aside. Away from the crowd, Jesus put his finger into the man's ear. Then he spat and touched the man and said to him, E father, which means be open. At this, the man ears was open. His tongue was loosened and he began to speak plainly. Verse 36, Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone. But the more he did so, the more they kept telling people about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Thus far, the scripture. I don't necessarily want to focus on the miracle Jesus has committed or did in this pericope, but I want to, to show that they went and told everybody. When something good happens to you, is good. The Bible says in the book of mm. that they were saved by the word of their testimony. Amen. But we have got to confuse in this dispensation of time where our, our, we don't believe in sharing the good news. We don't believe and, and sharing what God has done for us, we believe that that it is supposed to be private, and it's where well, God has blessed us, and we don't share the good news. And and if truth be told, the gospel, uh, we all know the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that is the gospel, that, that simply means the good news and the glad tithings of Jesus Christ. So beloved, I find it interesting as we as professing to be Christians, that we no longer come to share the good news and glad tithings, but it's more focused on the relationships we're in, the nice restaurants we go to. Uh, we are more focus on that bad breakup that we have and then we slandering the person's name and, and airing out all our dirty laundry. He or she is no good. Uh, uh, all the I love you posts are now gone. And, and now they're such a bad person. They were no good. They were cheap. They were busted. They were all this. But I find it interesting is that when you was with them, they were all perfect. But now they're no, y'all no longer together. They, they were all this and all that. My question is to you, then, if you are trapped, then what are you? 
But let's start what I came to talk about uh, this morning. Uh, the reason why some things aren't working in your favor, working out in your life, is simply because you're talking too much. Sometimes you have to learn how to just shut up. Uh -huh. Let me give you some Bible. Ephesians 2 and 2 tells us that Satan is the prince of the air. So you have to understand that when you speak, Satan hears you and know how to plan and plot against you. We spend so much time telling all the wrong stuff and speaking all the wrong stuff. And then we wonder why we can't get what God has in store for us. Come here, Daniel. Daniel said that I prayed 21 days and got no response. Then Gabriel showed up and said, the Lord had heard you the first time you prayed and sent me to... Uh, to give you a message, but I got tied up and got caught up and delayed by the Prince of Persia. And so I had to call my crew to come down and help me. Sometimes you just have to stay quiet and not open up your mouth so that God can fully bless you. Sometimes we need to let it just manifest and not let everyone in our business of our next move. Beloved, we have to be very careful in 2023 on the social media age because we tend to put everything but would need to be on social media. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we have to go back to the times that the old folk used to say, mothers in Zion used to say, uh, uh, if I just hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battles, victory shall be mine. We have to get to the point in our life where we're not living on social media, but we're living a life that's pleasing to our king because Brenda told us this morning that the king is coming and we are children of the king and we have to act certain ways, beloved, uh, uh, you know, you know, we are all people of the same uh, uh, ethnic group on this Zoom so far, uh, uh, you know, it's certain things we don't act. When we got dressed to go to school, our parents told us, you going out here, you represent yourself, but you represent me. Don't go in for that school acting all crazy, because mm -hmm. if you go in that school acting crazy and you embarrass me, I'm going to come up to the school acting crazy and embarrass you in front of your whole class. Maybe Maybe your parent never told you that, but that's the household I grew up in, that I represent my mother and my father, I represent my grandmother, and because I am the child, I have to act a certain way because we don't want to get caught messed up messing up in school because, beloved, I don't want to embarrass them, and I show enough don't want my mama to embarrass me in front of my class, but we have mm -hmm. to understand that we cannot be out here embarrassing God. We confess to be Christians, but our lifestyle is not a Christian lifestyle. We confess to be holy, but we live in a damnable life. Something is wrong when the only time folk know that you are a Christian is when they see you in your with your Bible going to church on Sunday morning. Mm. We spend too much time focusing on all that is wrong. We focus on all the mess in life. I, I personally feel that God took us through a pandemic to help bring the scripture to fulfillment. The Bible tells us that, that Jesus is coming when the word of God has been preached in the uttermost parts of the earth. This is why he gave us the great commission that tells us to go into all the world preaching and, and baptizing in the name of, of the Lord. But beloved, we couldn't do that because we got so caught up in the four walls of our church. But beloved, now just glimpsing on Facebook, I see that 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 my aunt from South Carolina is, is, is on. And, and, and we seen a few weeks ago, someone from Texas that we didn't even know that wasn't connected to none of us personally was tuning in and, and desired prayer. But we are taking the gospel through all the world. And this is how we know that the king is coming. So not only do we have to to preach the word everywhere, but our lifestyle has to be ready for we know not when the Lord will return. Uh -huh. you, you have to understand that you don't have to prove nothing to anybody. Uh -huh. you, you, you don't have to try to impress anybody as long as you know who and whose you are 
You don't have to go and show off, but beloved, you ought to let God use you to show off. I preached that uh, last year sometime. God was just showing off. You have to allow God to show off. The problem is that we are telling all of our business but the right thing. We don't tell of the goodness of Jesus, but we tell that we had a good stake that 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 she looks good and he he's handsome and fine and he did this, he did that, he got me this, he got me that. But beloved, what happens to sin that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would we be? Can I park? right here in your driveway and tell uh, you that we have to start telling the right thing. Well, pastor, what's the right thing? I'm glad you asked. The right thing is telling the people what the Lord has done for you. Tell of the goodness of Jesus. Tell that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, no telling where would you be. You deserve to be in a fiery pits of hell. You deserve to be in a burning hell. You deserve to be uh, uh, wherever Satan wants you to be. But thank Thanks be unto God that we have a dying, uh, a Savior that died for us, and that He is in the world today. Tell the people that the He, the Lord, saved your soul, and He made you whole, and He healed your body. We have to tell the people how God has been so good to you in spite of yourself. Uh -huh. Do y'all remember back in the day before we got all grand and, and uppity with praise and worship and we should have devotional service? You you mm -hmm. know somebody would stand up and say, first give an honor to God who was the head of my life, to Reverend yeah. Pap, the deacon, yeah. member yeah. saint, friends of this head church. I want to thank God for waking me up this morning with a reasonable portion of health and strength. I want to thank him that the better laid in wasn't my cooling board and my sheet wasn't my winding cloth. But he touched me early this morning with his finger of love, with the blood running warm in my veins. I want to thank him for the roof over my head and the clothes on my back, the food on the table, the little car out there in the shed. They always end it say, and those of you who know the word of prayer, pray my strength in the Lord. Uh, we don't do that no more. We don't testify of the goodness of Jesus no more. We don't have testimonies. Uh, anymore. It was them testimonies that would help someone sitting in the order of the congregation that was going through something, but it's not like that anymore. We come to church just to get atten attention. We come to church just to be seen. The hymnology said like this, uh, uh, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I couldn't keep it to myself what the Lord has done for me. Well, I come to tell the people everywhere I go on social media, on my job, on my on the train, the bus, that the king is coming, that we have to have a life that's pleasing to him. We are children of the king. We are a royal priesthood, the Bible says, a holy nation. We have certain standards. I love uh -huh. Dr. Whitney. Uh, 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 theme was we're raising God's people to God's standards. It's, it's, it's not enough just to look good and please your mama, but the question is, is your life uh -huh. pleasing the Lord? Yes. I got to got to cut across the field as examine the text as we see in this pericope there's a group of people that that ran into Jesus and Jesus did a miracle and Jesus told them don't tell nobody but they told everyone they know everyone they came in contact with Jesus is on the coast of Tyre and Saddam the sea of Galilee and they bring a man to him and this man is death and have a speech impediment. I think I can hang my hat here. The Bible says that his friends brought him to Jesus. Jesus spit on the ground and spit and touches the man's ear, excuse me. And, and he says to the man, the ears be open. And immediately he was healed and started to speak clearly. Jesus told him to tell no one, but they told everybody. Everybody. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's usually the secrets that people tell you that that's how the gossip mill gets going around. We don't share the good news of Jesus, but we want to spread the gossip. But mm -hmm. closer look here as I make hasten to close. And 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 and, and the Bible says that 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 uh, 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 they brought him to Jesus. They is a pronoun. I told you this before. That is usually referred to two or more people. He told them, them is another pronoun that's used uh, uh, as an object of a verb or, or to let you know there's more than one person. But beloved, 
they said that 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 the blind man had some friends that took him to Jesus. Uh, as I make haste to close here, I, I must say this: that you have to have some people in your life that 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 that's helping you get to Jesus. You have to have some people on your side that no matter what you're going through, they know how to help you get to Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, stay with me. I'm, I'm working on the building here. Mark chapter two, <laughs> about a paralyzed man who had some friends who not only brought him to Jesus, but ripped the roof off a building so he could get to mm -hmm. Jesus. I park here for the second time in the theological dissertation to tell you that you have to have relationships and friends and people on your side that don't just talk about you, don't gossip with you, that don't throw a pity party with you, but that's willing to bring you to Jesus. They yes. say, no matter what, I know that we can't fix in our own mind. I know we can't handle the situation, but I know a man who can uh -huh. have have to have some people around you that loved you enough to take you to Jesus. Uh, I, I heard this on Instagram and it blessed me so much. The reason why some of you can't find friends or oh, what you are looking for in a relationship is because you keep stepping outside of your routine. Uh, uh, if you get uh, uh, if you have to dress uncomfortable, the dress is too short. If you have to put on a pound of makeup, if if you have to flash money, you have a, expensive cars and all this other stuff to get someone's attention, beloved, that's really not for you. But when yeah. you stay in your routine, when you uh -huh. stay worshiping God, when 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 you stay going to work, when you stay on your way to the bank, when you stay on your way to church, you will find the people you need, and they will be there to help and support you, and you'll be where you're supposed to to be get you some friends that have the same routine as you get all you right some friends all right. that can pray you through get you some friends that when something happens they know how to get a prayer through the Jesus. i don't need yes. no friends that may have a bunch of money but don't know how to pray i don't need right. no friends that may be a doctor but don't know jesus i yes. need some friends that when stuff happens and stuff hits yes. the fan i don't need you to call your connections i need you to be connected to the power source yes Jesus. yes that's right. Check your connections because hmm. so many of us allow our friends to lead us away from Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taking us to Christ. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. I gotta go. The Bible says that, that when the day of Pentecost has fully come, there was all in one accord in one place. It seems that every time some people get together, gather together in one place on the same chord uh, of one accord, something powerful happens. Mm. I mean, I remember in, in, in the beginning of pandemic, we all were shut in. God had shut down everything around us and, and, and God allowed us to have this Facebook group thing. And, and I remember that as, as I was laying in, and depression started to sit in, because all we see is death and sickness all around us. And, and we get in this group and there was a, about five or six young people. And we all got in the group and we all knew each other. Some, uh, some few was new, but for the most part, we all knew of each other. Let me rephrase it that way. Mm -hmm. We wasn't complete strangers, but we may not have never met in person or, mm -hmm. or friends. But, but we got together in this particular group and and it started out as just us laughing and cracking jokes, and then it, it evolved into uh, into words of encouragement, encouraging each other. And it evolved in in from that into us praying and prophesying to each other, speaking to the life. And 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 now the same group of us, we are closer than ever. We know how to get a prayer through at the lowest time in the nation's life, not just mine or yours. But the whole world is, is now going through a depressed state Why with COVID-19 on a ramp, running rampant, and, and our leaders and generals of the faith are transitioning. But there was a group of young people that came together on a social media platform that people used to bash and the senior saints didn't like, thought it was demonic. But God used this platform to bring us close together. And we, I had some friends that, that when I couldn't get in touch with my therapist and, and when I couldn't get in touch with my, my counselor and I couldn't find someone to talk to that there was a group of people at two o'clock in the morning that will come on and we will pray for each other. These are the relationships we need. And they kept me accountable that when I wanted to give up, they said, no, you can't. You are uh, the man of God. You are the bishop. You know, everyone want to call me bishop. They had to encourage me when I couldn't encourage myself. And these are the yeah. people. 
that mm -hmm. you have in your corner in this season because the king is coming and in order to be prepared for the king, sometimes you have to be reminded of who and whose you are. Oh yeah, see man, that's out of my notes. Let me let me let me get back uh, to my notes. The Bible says that. That, that that they were all speaking in tongues and they thought they were drunk. Peter said this, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. We are not drunk, but 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 we are speaking in unknown tongues and and and, and spoken by the prophet uh, uh Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last day that God will pour out his spirit upon all the flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and the old men shall dream dreams. And this is the time we living in now. I stopped by to tell y'all that on the second Sunday in Black History Month, that I can't keep it to myself. I have to tell the story of how I made it over. I have to tell how yeah. God has picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. I have to tell somebody how he brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. I got a, I got, I got some friends that every time we get together and we begin to think of the goodness of Jesus that it ignites a fire and that fire is contagious and that fire begins to catch on fire to the next person. This is why we got to be very careful that when you scream Jesus around me because it's something on the inside of me that gets excited because I remember what he's done for me and what he's done for my family when the Holy Spirit uh, yeah moving bills begin to get paid when the Holy Ghost start moving bodies and begin to get healed when Holy Ghost start moving people begin to become set free because when the Holy Ghost begin to move there is an elimination of class distinction he's not concerned yeah. how much yeah. money in your account where you're from the language you speak but the Bible says they were all speaking in unknown tongues but they was able yeah. to understand understand each other but love it he's not worried about how much education you have yeah. the letter behind your name how much money in your bank account but yeah. the bible said it felt like fire shut up in my bones and yes. i gotta tell somebody of what the lord has done for me all right all right tell somebody I tell somebody that the king is coming i gotta help them amen i'm, I'm done now yeah i'm reminded of a story of a deacon that's in the country church named Deacon Brown. Every Sunday, old Deacon Brown will come to church and get all loud and, and, and crazy praising the Lord. Some said he was embarrassing. He was a distraction. One day, the church received a letter that Obama was coming into town and he was going to stop by for Sunday worship. It <laughs> went to a preliminary service. Uh, came and did background checks and the camera crews came and they had the church set up uh, and in anticipation for our president Obama to come. The deacon board called a special meeting excited about Obama coming and excited about being on television. Uh, someone asked, well, what are we going to do about old Deacon Brown? And no <laughs> missed Sunday's worship. The chairman said, I got an idea. Take some money out the benevolent account and let's go buy uh, Deacon Brown a new suit. They <laughs> went by and, and told Deacon Brown, they picked him up and said, Deacon Brown, we're going to take you to buy you a new suit. We're going to take you to get you dressed up. We're going to honor you on Sunday. We want you to look good. So the, he said, thank you. They went and they to, to Taylor got him a tailor made double breasted suit. And <laughs> went and got him a fresh, fresh white shirt. They yes, yes. Got a brand new black and white tie. And <laughs> they got Deacon Brown a brand new pair of alligator shoes <laughs> with some brand new silk socks. All right. Said Deacon Brown, we want you to wear this to church on Sunday. We're going to honor you, but the only thing we need you to sit and be quiet until we call <laughs> you. Deacon Ooh. Brown said, okay. Deacon <laughs> Brown got dressed in the morning, got in his Cadillac and went to church. He, he was shocked now, y'all. Uh, when he seen the extra people, the secret service of the cameras, he 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 got all emotional. He he said, All these people came here to honor me on this day. He went and mm -hmm. Deacon Brown sat in his usual seat mm -hmm. every Sunday morning. Service uh so began and 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 they did the opening hymn, uh, hymn number twenty three, uh, to God be the glory for the great things He has done. And oh yeah, oh yes. 
to get excited, but remember what the deacon said, and, and they begin to read the morning scripture, Psalms 150, let everything that have breath <laughs> praise the Lord. Deacon Brown sitting there, started rocking in the yes, yes. He's, he's excited about what the Lord has done for him, and it's mm. time uh, for the preacher to preach. The choir starts singing. Uh, uh, Timothy writes, "Thank you, Lord, for all oh, your, yeah. for your miracles." And and Deacon Brown just loses it. He jumped up <laughs> and started praising God. And Obama never showed up that Sunday to church. And, and so after church, the uh, they interviewed Deacon Brown and asked him why they praised God the way he did. He says, see, you just don't understand. I'm on a fixed income, so I can't afford new fancy suits, shirt and tie. All right. All right. The church honored me today and, and they brought me this brand new suit. Mm -hmm. shoes. They brought all these people to television the camera just to honor the old me. Mm. So when when they started to sing to God be the glory, I started to think of how God, what God has blessed me with when they read <laughs> the one. Mm. Of Psalm, I got excited in yes. my spirit because yes. I wanted to tell the Lord, thank you for all He's done for me. And, mm. and the attitude of gratitude, I just want to tell Him thank you. I, 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 and then when they when they when they got up and Timothy Wright song came on, I, I just got I couldn't hold it no more. I had to oh. tell someone oh. how the Lord has kept my mind. I had to tell yes. how He's opened the doors for me that yes. was in my face. I I couldn't contain myself. I had right. to. The praise out if there's anyone in this virtual sanctuary who can attest with Deacon Brown that that I just can't keep it to myself that everywhere I go I gotta tell that Jesus is mine that no matter what's going on in my life that Jesus is mine and I am him I gotta tell that I yes, found yes. a savior and he's sweet I know gotta go y'all gotta fly my kite in here now y'all I have to tell somebody of how God has brought me from a mighty long way, how he's uh, kept my mind from going crazy. I got to tell somebody how he's kept my body with sickness and pain. I got to yeah. tell somebody how he gave me a career I don't deserve. I got to tell somebody, even yes. though the Lord has blessed me in so many areas, that even when the enemy reds up against me and tries to destroy me, that he right. has right. descended against me, that he has dispatched angels to encamp yeah. around me and protect yeah. me. Oh, hurt, harm, or danger. Seen or unseen. I gotta tell somebody mm -hmm. of the goodness of the Lord. It's by no goodness of my own. I don't have yes. the money I need. I don't want. I don't have the education they yes. say I need. Yes. But the yes. Lord is on my side, and if God is for me, who can be against me? Yes. I can't yes. encourage someone on this virtual contrary today. That no matter what you go, that you have God on your side, and therefore yes. you can't. Yes. Why you ought to tell a dying world about a risen savior that you can't keep quiet? You have to tell them how he picked you up, yes. turned you yes. around, and placed your feet on solid ground. You have to tell somebody how you may have cancer, but God healed you. You have yes. to tell somebody, Sister Mo, that I had some aneurysm, yes. but God has kept me. That somebody yes. else had the same thing I had. Then it right. wasn't as bad as I had it, but yes. they're dead now. But God has kept me. Why? Because there is power in the name of power. God. Yeah. We have. Hallelujah. The world. Tell the world. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's sweet. I know. Yes. I want to go now, y'all. I want to encourage you that, that the king oh. is. Hallelujah. And that it is your job to be the mouthpiece of God. And tell people to prepare themselves for the return of the king. Yes. Amen. Song said, I pray we all be ready. I pray we all be ready for one. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. God bless you. There may be someone. Amen. 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 This morning. Maybe someone who who wants to accept Jesus as their personal savior. You heard the word that's going forth. Hey, How do Jesus. I get to know? This Jesus, how can I make Jesus my choice? As as they Lord, Lord. Admit that you have sinned. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. Confess that you are in need of saving and confess that he is Jesus. Lord. And the Bible says that you shall be saved. Yes, yes, yes. Do me a favor, pray this prayer with me. Uh, dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner 
and I am in need of saving. Mm. I ask you to, for your forgiveness. I believe that you died on the old world cross for my sins mm. and you rose on the third day from the dead with all power in your hands. So God, I turn from my sinful ways and my sinful lifestyle and I invite you to come into my heart and come into my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior and yes. you as my Christ and King. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have did your ABCs this morning and you have prayed that prayer with us, I want to say congratulations on making the best decision of your life. You are now in the ark of safety. You are now saved according to the word of God. Amen. Uh, accept amen. Christ on today, or you may you just want to partner with us. You may want to join the Remnant Family Worship Center. Come and be a part of the ministry. Give us a call, 646-287- 8972. You can send us an email at the remnant fwc at gmail.com. You can inbox us on Facebook, uh, Instagram. You can even uh, send us a message on YouTube, and someone from our ministry will be surely get back to you. They will pray with you. We we are a ministry built on prayer, and we believe in connecting with each other. Amen. We talk to each other every day, even if it's just a good morning. I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you. We believe in this power and unity. Amen. We even got the children on. Hey, Eden, how you doing? <laughs> a little bit Look at us. Amen. 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 And, and amen. Listen, we, we ask you to please, ma'am, please, sir, follow us and like and share our social media pages. Let's get the word spread to everybody. Let's build even more of our online platform. Mm -hmm. hey, looking at our numbers during two week, they are going up. I get a message from Facebook every week saying that our numbers are going up, but let's, let's go even higher. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's go into all the world. But the only way we can do that, if you like and you share our social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Amen. And thank God. God bless you. I love each and every one of you. Love you too, Cal. Yeah. You can do about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, yeah. we thank you for the eyes of seen, the ears of heard. We thank you for your divine visitation mm -hmm. on today. God, we know that you are coming back. Thank you, God. God. We are preparing, making sure we are prepared and have a house in order. So kind, Father, do what you do the best and be our Father. Clean us up, God. Forgive our sins. Dip us in a pool of your red blood so that, so that we shall be whiter than snow. God, do it again, God. Do it again. Yes, yes. do it again. Mm -hmm. yes. Through by, yes. by night. To the only wise God, our Savior, we yes. all know in master domain and power, both now and forevermore. And we all yes. say amen. 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 Blessed, encourage, and expect greater because God has greater in store for you. Amen. Amen. Amen.